We're here on the beautiful campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University to spend some time with head football coach Brian Sarace. So let's just go right inside and see what we can get coached up on today. Coach, obviously we're here for five minutes with coach, but you also here to coach me up. What are we getting coached up on today? Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, pass protection with the uh, offensive line. Uh, my background's a little bit more in the offensive line. I played offensive line in college and also coached it uh, for majority of my years in, uh, in college coaching. So, uh, you know, we'll look at uh, pass protection and, and what goes on with the offensive line. Great. So, Emory, I wanted to go over our uh, pass protection with our offensive line. Six man drop back protection with our quarterback. Okay. And what that entails is our quarterback's gonna take the snap from the center, whether he's under center or in shotgun, and drop directly behind that center. And that's important for the offensive line to understand where what we call the launch point is of the quarterback. Mm -hmm. Because you always want to know where the quarterback's gonna throw the football. Uh, then you can base your body position and your blocking uh, position upon that because the defender is going to affect his rush with where the quarterback is going because that's who he's trying to get. Okay. At FDU, what we'll do is we will protect the quarterback's backside with four people, our center, uh, our running back, and two offensive linemen uh, to that side are going to protect that quarterback's backside so he feels comfortable enough in that I don't have to worry about anything to my blind side. Mm -hmm. And now all I have to concentrate on is the area that I want to throw the football to. In this case, we're going to put that area to his right over here where I'll put the X. And I can see any defender that's coming that we don't have any protection for. So if I need to get rid of the football a little bit earlier, I can. So, question. So, yes. So, if someone is coming off the edge, that would be? That's the quarterback's okay. man, quote unquote. Okay. And he knows that, he can see it, and he can deliver the football earlier to there if you want to okay. call it a hot route or a, uh, uh, you know, a spot route if, in, in general. And, and the receivers are clued into that as well. Okay. So, in essence, what the quarterback will do is he will make a mic call. So you hear in the NFL Pete Manning or Tom Brady up on the line and they're saying Mike 52 or Mike 44 jersey number. Mm -hmm. We'll do the same thing. And that quarterback is directing what we call the point, the mic call, to where the center and, and the offensive line are in charge of blocking. Okay. With four down linemen, two defensive ends, a defensive tackle, a nose guard, the offensive line is in charge of those four linemen and the mic whoever the quarterback deems as that point man. Okay. For, for this purpose uh, of what we're going over, he's in charge of protecting four to his backside. Okay. So if you were right down the center of the line, you counted lineman, defensive tackle and end, that would be one and two. The next threat to his backside, in this case, the left, since we're throwing the ball to the right, that next threat would be three. That could be anybody. That could be a safety, a linebacker, a cornerback, whoever it is. In this case, for, for this drawing here, we'll just make it very simple and make it the will linebacker. Okay. And that's three, so the fourth would be the Mike linebacker. That directs the offensive line to their fifth guy that they're blocking. Five offensive linemen, you have the four down linemen and the Mike. So when the quarterback points out, hey, if this jersey number was 44, Mike 44, Mike 44, the offensive line knows who they're blocking. From the running back's perspective, he's going to take the next defender, anybody else who were to come, uh, to, the, to the opposite call side of that. So, in essence, we would say the quarterback's throwing to the right, right. based upon our protection, and now the running back has the will linebacker to the left. Okay, so he has to think a little bit opposite of what the right or left call is in the protection. In this case, uh, uh, it would be right since the quarterback's throwing right. So the quarterback now, since he's throwing right, knows he's protected with the Will linebacker, the Mike linebacker, and the four down lineman. Mm -hmm. Now he has the Sam linebacker or anything else, again, defensive back wise, cornerback, safety, whatever's going to come from that side, he knows he has no protection and he has to get rid of the football. From an offensive line perspective now, dealing with just the offensive line, 
what we try to encourage our offensive linemen to do is give as much help as possible with each other. Mm -hmm. And by what I mean by that is this. If you can, help yourself by uh, knowing where your help's coming from. So for instance, when you look at this drawing here, you know that the Mike linebacker is the linebacker that we're, the offensive line is in charge of blocking. What we're in charge of blocking is offensive line. So in essence, uh, since we are sliding to our left because of the right protection call, the offensive line is going to be in charge of the Mike linebacker and where he goes may dictate where your help goes. When the center pops off the line after the snap, he's going to eyeball that Mike. In a perfect world, the Mike linebacker drops in coverage. When he drops in coverage, now the center doesn't really quote unquote have a man to block. So we're going to look to help as many of our teammates as possible, mm -hmm. uh, even if it's for a split second. So off the snap, as he's dropping, he's going to punch the nose with his right arm as he works his way back to the left to see where the mic is. That's initial help with the right guard who has the nose guard. Mike drops, the center's now going to continue to slide to his left to help out the left guard. And in essence, in this drop back pass, he's now just helped out two offensive linemen with one pass. And we can actually take it a step further, depending on how long the pass play is. Once the guard feels the center come over and start to take over that defensive tackle, mm -hmm. the guard can now start to slide to help his offensive tackle block the defensive end. So in essence, when you look at this, even though it's a quote unquote man protection, mm -hmm. I have this man, I have that man, I have that man, in essence, what happens is we're actually hopefully gonna get help on possibly three different defensive linemen, the nose tackle, initial off the snap with the center, the defensive tackle, after the center continues to slide to help out the left guard, and then the left guard is gonna help out the left tackle on the defensive end once he feels that the center has taken over that three technique. So in essence, the only quote unquote man protection would be the right tackle and that defensive end that he's blocking. And that's about as much help as you can give on one pass protection play mm -hmm. to where you feel comfortable with four offensive linemen uh, helping out each other for as long as possible. So the question, so let's mm -hmm. say the Will and the Mike both drop. Sam decides to come, what do I do in the backfield? Excellent, there's a couple of things we can do and it depends on what protection we call. Mm -hmm. First being, very simply, you check your man or your area and then you can go out on the route. Okay. So you can run a swing route, you can run a hook over the middle, whatever is dictated by that pass route that you're calling, that okay. combination. The second thing that we can do is, based upon a different protection call, is we can actually, what we call, full scan the protection. Okay. So now, this running back steps up, he checks his will or anything to that area, that side. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes, if it's a half scan, he can go out on the route, like I said before. Mm -hmm. If it's a full scan, which is a total different protection for him, same up front, it hasn't changed up front at all. Now he can come across and protect anything else that's coming from the other side. Okay. If anything comes, Sam, quarterback, safety, he can protect and keep that player off of the quarterback. If the Sam or anybody else decides to drop, so now there's nobody rushing, he can now continue out onto his route from there. So that's a great question that takes it one step further in, in the advancement. And, and that's what we talked about earlier, the difference between college and high, uh, high school and college. You start to get into those little intricacies because of the multitude and complexity of blitzes that you see from the defenses in college. You want to try to keep hits off your quarterback. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times you're going to go to this full scan uh, early on in you know in, in your progression as a pass protection but there are times where you want to get the running back out as quick as you can and get him involved what we call five men out in the route uh, so it just depends on 
on your your play call, your pass combinations, and, and uh, also you know how well you want to protect the quarterback. So it's really a, a school's choice or, or that program's choice as to what they want to do. And pass pro for a running back is vital at every level, more so college and pro. Absolutely, uh, that's one of the things when when you look at when you watch the NFL Combine or you watch uh, you know the drills that they do with one on one, you have to be able to be an all around back. And uh, I know the, the backs uh, that are drafted, they're looking for an all-around back uh, because now you have a chance to play all three downs, mm -hmm. where uh, especially when you get into the NFL, but even in college, you'll start to see some specialty backs and, and uh, uh, you want to be known as an every-down player. And if you can pass protect and you understand the concepts of who to protect, that's going to keep you on the field. Uh, and that's going to keep you uh, playing, which is the, the whole goal oh. of playing football. <laughs> Well, Coach Therese, I appreciate you taking time for us uh, today, coaching us up a little bit on offensive line protection, sitting out interviewing with us as well. And tell everybody where they can find more information about FDU football. Absolutely. You can jump online at fdudevils.com. Uh, I appreciate you coming down, Emory, and I think this is a great thing. And anything else you need in the future, best of luck to you and, and everyone else out there. Appreciate